Hi you guys doing today? So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing all of the cloud gaming platform running on the G cloud. We're going to start with Boosteroid. So we're going to take a look at Spider-Man running on Boosteroid. And again, the reason for this video is to just showcase uh, the gameplay for these services and showcase how well they run on this device. So let's get right into it. All right. So we have Spider-Man here. We're in a really intense battle here. But again, just want to showcase this off and show you guys that this actually runs pretty well. So I might actually die here because this is a really intense part. But again, just want to showcase this off and again, show you guys that this actually does work. But yeah, this is really fun. And as you've seen, it runs quite decently. And you guys might not be aware of what Boosteroid is. Again, think of GeForce Now, but not as advanced. But the cool thing about this compared to GeForce Now is that you do have more game selection. Again, they have Call of Duty here. They have Spider-Man like you've seen here. They have God of War. So you guys know GeForce Now had God of War, but took that down. So again, just want to showcase this and show you guys that Spider-Man actually works pretty well. All right, so next service I want to showcase here is Shadow PC. And again, to get Shadow, just like Boosteroid, you have to go to the Google Play Store and download that. But once you do so, you should be good to go. So let's open up Shadow. And so this is Shadow PC here. And the bummer about this device with Shadow PC, like for instance, with the Steam Deck, they have the mouse cursor. And with the Odin, you can bring out the mouse cursor. This doesn't have this, so you have to use your fingers to navigate. So let's open up a game like Modern Warfare 2. So this is Modern Warfare 2 running on Shadow PC on this device. And something you notice here, the 1080p display really brings this game to life on this platform. So something that this has over its competitors, again, the Steam Deck, or I would go as far as to say the Nintendo Switch, is that this has a 1080p display. And when you're playing cloud gaming game that doesn't really depend on hardware, it really pops out and takes advantage of this. As you can see here, hardly any latency and the videos just pop on this game playing through Shadow PC. Again, if you guys don't know what Shadow PC is, it's a virtual PC that allows you to emulate Windows in the cloud and you can play AAA games, new release games. You don't have to worry about the store getting it. And as you've seen here, this is again a brand new release game like Modern Warfare 2. You can see performance is really on point here and it looks gorgeous. So just want to showcase this off running G Cloud. All right, so next we're going to showcase Xbox Cloud Gaming. And we're going to showcase Halo Infinite running on this device through Xbox Cloud Gaming. All right, so we have Halo Infinite running on this device. And as you can see here, the display is really gorgeous. And hardly any latency, able to get some pretty good headshots there. But yeah, this this looks incredible running in here. And if you are into Xbox Cloud Gaming, I would definitely advise for you to take a look at this one, but because it performs really well on the G Cloud as well, hardly any latency issues, and it's pretty on point. I'm in a really difficult place, but hopefully I can pass this. But yeah, you guys have seen this runs pretty good. And yeah, that's Halo Infinite, guys. All right, so let's showcase some Google Stadia running on here now. All right, so let's check out Doom Eternal running on here. So we're going to hit the screen and again, taking advantage of the 1080p display. This is just gorgeous. All right, so this is Doom Eternal and Google Stadia. And man, every time we play Stadia, I'm always reminded by how smooth this service is and how well it runs. Again, I keep saying I wish they never uh, shut down because this is one of the smoothest cloud gaming experience burn on. This performs really well, and as you're seeing right here, it's pretty awesome. This is a really difficult part, so if I die, forgive me, but 
again just want to showcase that this works and it works pretty well Not only does it work well, but it looks good working too. And again, just want to showcase this. All right, so that was a difficult scene. So we're going to just hop right into GeForce now and showcase that platform. And the game that I like to showcase here is Cyberpunk 2077. All right, this is Cyberpunk 2077 running on the GeForce Now platform. Again, this is the 3080 tier. You get 4K normally, but with this device, the max resolution is 1080p, but gorgeous, gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see how beautiful this game looks running on here. Ray tracing turned all the way on, so you can see reflections, all the features that you can expect from a beefy PC is on here. DLSS is on here. Again, the beauty with cloud is that you get all these features without needing beefy hardware specs. So as you can see, Cyberpunk looks incredible running on the G Cloud. Would highly recommend this. No latency issues. Again, I can aim. Look at that. Aim, shoot, shoot. Just alerted the guards. But yeah, man, this this runs really, really well and looks absolutely incredible running all right so last cloud gaming service that i do want to showcase here is amazon luna so let's get right into that so to get luna you'd have to go to the official android to install it but once you do so it should come up here and it does detect controllers so we'll try to showcase a game like lust judgment on here so we're gonna hit play now and then we're gonna hit continue and this should just work continue in the way all right so here we are again into some gameplay as you can see very responsive hardly any latency here and graphically this is just gorgeous and really impressive but yeah just want to showcase that it does run and graphically looks really good and it's very responsive as well so again we gotta hide pretend like we're tying our shoes. But yeah, this is a fun game if you guys haven't played it yet. All right, we're done with that. But yeah, movement, as you can see, it's pretty fluid. Buttons work really well. And everything looks good. Less judgment, Amazon Luna on the G Cloud. Impressive. All right, fellas, just want to showcase some cloud gaming games running on this platform. Again, I'm going to do a two weeks review with this device just to let you guys know what my impressions are. And I'm going to be comparing it to the Switch. Yes. And I'm also going to be comparing it to the Steam Deck as well. So again, stay subscribed. I have other videos planned for this device. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. How do you think the games performed? We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.